back to the two-door wagon. Putting in the glass. I just did the headliner. I still have to do the final heat, you know, put the heat gun to it, trim the sides, tack it in. Now, of course, the second I start to uh, film and talk, say hi. All right. Okay. All right, I got a windshield, a new one. And it's pretty much typical, the last bunch of these I've done, whoever's making the glass now for Volvo, they're not uh, as they should be. Because I put it in, it won't fit. I fought with this for a long time with these. And so what I did was, I took it out. Here's an original glass that I've had that I've used several times, and I'm gonna show you the video on this now. Uh, this I'm using as a template to show you how far off this is. Doesn't look like much. I don't know if you can even see that. Let me get something under there. There we go. Maybe you can see it now. Put that way down here. Okay. That, believe it or not, that little tiny bit sticking out there makes this glass, it will not go in. The corner's off. And just that little bit does not allow this glass to drop in. So I'm going to have to trim that and hope I don't break the windshield and put it in the car. So, be back in a bit. Okay, I ground away. That little bit that you saw on the bottom in the video, I took a little more off the side. Um, chrome isn't on, of course. That'll help push this pucker back down, but I don't know. The last couple of these I've done, the chrome in these corners on this aftermarket trim isn't as nice as it should be, and sometimes it does leave a little bit of a, a fish mouth there. And... Uh, I don't know, so we'll see when I get this one on if I can get rid of them or not. Okay, on the inside when you do these, put that glass in, you make sure that this rubber lip goes all the way down around. If it's standing up, your glass is too big and uh, it'll just push out. So yeah, now that I have it set in there, I'll... Uh, put some uh, sealer around it now that it's in. I'm not going to take it back out to put the sealer back in because then you just get it all over everywhere. So before I put the trim on, I can actually get down in there and put it in. So she's coming along. She's got a happy face. Give me just a little walk around here. All the trim and chrome. Had everything re-chromed except this. This uh, Joe Lazenby had up a Susquehanna Spares. He had a new old stock handle, but I had everything else re-chromed. It's coming along. Yep. Thanks for watching.